Welcome back friends to my channel. I am exploring a new part of Malta today. I am in the Kuspika, Kupi, Kupiuka part of Malta. I have just taken the bus from Slima to Valletta, which is the capital of the city. There's a big bus terminal there. And now we have taken on to this part of town. So far, all we can see is a huge fisherman's wharf and uh, I'm gonna explore different parts. Doing a little research, we did see that there was grass fields here and on the bus there was a little nugget of a fella going for his Sunday morning soccer practice. And we also saw a golf course, which just seems like the most odd thing because yesterday I was just saying how I missed grass in Malta, grass fields. So maybe we will find that today. But before we get started, subscribe to the channel, like this video below, and let's start exploring. One of the first things we're noticing about this part of Malta is it's not horribly dirty, it's just not as like swept and perfectly clean and there's quite a bit more litter compared to Slima but we also know that Slima is like such a heavy tourist place being right next to St. Julian's also. But this water, it is not looking good. It's not looking good pal. Quite stale. Is that a jellyfish or is that a plastic bag? Anyway. There's grass though. We're not sure what's happening down here. Some kind of celebration at the marina. I have no clue what that little procession was down at the marina, but somebody's celebrating something because they're drinking cervezas, beers, beers, at 9.45 a.m. There is a wartime museum here. I don't think we're gonna go in because it's probably gonna cost whatever amount of euros, but we will go ask them if they have a toilet because I really need to go. If that's too much information, too bad. It's part of the travel journey. We got on the bus around like 8.30 and I had a coffee right before. Bad idea. One of the unique things about Malta is that they have these sort of balconies that stick out. And when I was here last in Valletta, I was told by a palace owner, one of the noblemen, you can watch that video up here, that these were created because when there was parades coming down the street, they wanted to be able to watch out their windows. So they kind of jet out from their often second floor so they could look right and left to watch all the parades and also Malta doors are always super colorful and vibrant. It's kind of a signature of this country. It's gorgeous. By the way, no luck with the wartime museum bathrooms. We're still just walking around trying to find a coffee shop even. It's not working out. This is where I begin to panic. <laughs> This is my kind of exploration, the kind where it's just kind of empty streets. You're walking down little corridors that are someone's like residential street. It's quiet. There's not huge tourist groups. When people ask me like what I like to do when I travel, this is it. Just this feeling of like almost waking up on a Sunday morning in someone else's neighborhood. I'm uh, pretty stoked that I woke up this early to come here. Also, it's about 22 degrees Celsius outside, which for me feels like summertime, but jeans, a t-shirt, I have on my Align tank top underneath as well. Seems to be doing the trick. My only complaint is I still have to use a bathroom. <laughs> One thing I'm also enjoying about this area is that they have kept a lot of the Maltesian architecture, the wrought iron railings and colorful 
balconies and doors. Whereas areas like St. Julian's, Patchville, Slima, even St. Paul's, they're developing so fast that they're just more cement or limestone square brick building, similar to this one actually. So it's nice to see a lot of the buildings have kept some kind of unique architecture. Still exploring, still trying to find a bathroom. <laughs> Thanks to the lovely receptionist at Explora, the Malta Science World here in Bingi. Probably mispronouncing that. They let me use their washroom. So go check it out. It looked really cool, obviously for kids. And now I feel like a new woman that can continue exploring the area. Also, I think because it's a Sunday, all public washrooms have been closed and there's been like zero cafes open coffee shops anywhere. Perhaps because we've walked on the perimeter kind of following the water line in the marinas, maybe more if you stay central, more coffee shops you think? Hard to know, but either way, it's been so nice. And it's lush and green here. It's been chill. There's like nobody out, nice and quiet. Enjoying our day. Well, friends, we had to basically run for the bus coming out of Calcara and the Binju area because we couldn't find the bus that was going towards Valletta. Anyway, we found it. We're back in Valletta, which is kind of a transfer station, a terminal, as I mentioned before. But that's going to conclude our day exploring. We're going back to Slima to hang out and chill. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. One guy is totally laughing at me as I say this. But anyway, hope you have a good one. Definitely worth an exploration of a nice, chill day, and we'll see you later.